What's up, YouTube? So I was supposed to be doing a video of an un unboxing last week, which I did get a shipment, but unfortunately, um, things didn't go well on the shipment. Uh, it seems to be that cold weather played a part, and basically when I unboxed, I had a video already shooting, and when I unboxed the video, um, uh, <clears throat> they were basically looked dead. Um, 50% of the fish did not make it. Uh, at this moment, I don't wish, wish to disclose the vendor. Even though he somewhat made it right. Uh, and, and, you know, kind of, yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to go into detail, but it was cargo on Southwest. And uh, I've had fish like I told him ship for two day shipping which is actually three days three days almost and a half and and survived all the way from the other side of the country uh, during the same time so I find it for cargo shipping for them to lose temperature inside the box to be somewhat unacceptable I mean even though they did give me credit you still have to go through shipping again pay shipping all over again which basically washes uh, the credit they give you and, and and if you're going only for one or two fish I don't think it's worth it so from there on we'll skip that we'll just move on to this tank and what's going on um, I pretty much uh, have narrowed down who I'm getting rid of in his tank um, and also fish that have all come to their own lately. And one of them is this uh, Lethanops marginatus redfin. He's uh, been showing pretty good color lately. He's the only one that I have left. Of course, I I sold off my Tetra Stigma. Also known as the Green Face Lethanops and my Bazi Creek suddenly died out of nowhere. It was showing really good color. Uh, he, he actually died about a month ago. Um, this Turkish has also been coloring up lately. Um, and a couple of other guys. He's always looking good. One of my favorite 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 guys um, not because he's rare because he's just different um, and that's something that someone had brought up about rare fish and common fish and for me the dis distinction is it's not really about being rare or common it's about being a nice example of the fish um, a lot of people have sunshines a lot of people have a certain amount of type of fish but there's just ones that look a certain way and others that are the same species and just look show quality and as for me a person who is a basically a collector I just have a show tank I don't breed I don't do none of that stuff I just like having nice fish and and um, collecting them that's what I like to do that's what brings me into the hobby I like everything else about the hobby but this is primarily what I do well, back to which fish I've narrowed down is this guy or her. I don't know what it is, but either way, it doesn't matter to me if it's a male um, or female. It's the Bucochromis Rhodesii yellow. Uh, they get big, which I knew they do. Um, but I have other fish in mind and... Yeah, he just didn't make the cut. Um, I'd much rather have the Bucochromis norotinii, or Bucanoto, whatever you pronounce it, because he's just better looking, well, to me. And that's just in my opinion. And um, yeah, I just decided to stick with this guy and getting rid of him. So, or her, I don't know what it is. 
and I'm doing I was doing a super deal see if I could get rid of them on Facebook on one day and was offering take them home for 20 bucks um, but no one bit well people did but they wanted me to vent them and pretty hard to catch them if I'm gonna get them out I'm getting them out another one is this hybrid that I have here um, that one's originally I was planning to get rid of I'm going if I'm going to keep a peacock he has to have something to ball him um, I love peacocks I even was looking at old some old YouTube videos and you know peacocks are just like I'm never gonna let them go as long as you grow in this hobby I know that people have been going to predator haps and and other things and peacocks are just just my thing so he's one of them that I'm getting rid of uh, this tangerine tiger the bigger one I'm getting uh I'm getting yeah I'm gonna end up getting rid of him um not rid of him but you know just I don't want to give these guys to the local fish store and I don't want to give these guys to somebody who's gonna introduce them into a tank where they have no business being there like full of OBs and fire fish and you know we're basically just gonna be in there a couple of days and die um I'd rather just keep them if it's gonna come to that uh, I'll make some arrangements so Right now, I'm re. I have people that would would take them and give me money for them, but I don't feel it's the best environment for them, so I haven't done it. Um, yeah, he's basically made my other guy lose. He's he's lost all his color. He's getting a little bit of a sunken belly. I'm treating the tank actually for for internal parasites right now. Um, just just doing it to do it. I know that people say it's not good, but I do the, I, I do it and, and not to the extreme. I just, you know, add Epsom salt and Metro and um, feed them uh, medicated food for a couple of days to up to seven days. And then, um, yeah. So, those are, um, which other ones am I getting? Uh, let me see. Oh, there we go. And then, actually, he's been one that's colored up. There's a Chidunga Rocks, Malarai. Um, I actually ended up getting another one. I just, don't ask me how, I just fell into it. And he's just a nicer specimen than this one is. And this tank is cramped as it is, um, even though it hurts me because this guy has been showing tremendous uh, potential and color lately. But the other guy is a little bit just like he's an F1 and you can tell the difference just in the shape of the fish um, compared to him. So we're making that transition. Um, this Jollo Reef is another guy I'm going to get uh, rid of. I have another one actually he's really just actually getting replaced uh, that I've been having. I have two, so I kept one in the main tank, one in the other tank, and uh, he's a little bit smaller than him. Got him from Southeast Cichlids. This one I got from someone else. It's a very nice fish, also. Um, yeah, going looking to get uh, rid of this guy. And who else? I'm on the fence about this big guy right here. He does add a different dynamic to my tank. It's just different um, and also it's very nice that he's a very passive 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 um, fire fish dragon blood whatever you want to call it um, he's not aggressive at all um, so that plays into the decision other than that everyone else is doing well I mean one of my favorite fish right now has become uh, the black orange dorsal who is looking really, really nice. Um, like I said, this tank doesn't really have a, a tank boss. They pretty much just swim, swim among themselves. Uh, this eclipse from James Largo has exploded in the last couple of weeks. Um, actually, he, him and the Chindunga Rocks seem like they're competing with each other, but not really messing with each other. But Basically, like uh, helping each other shine, as I call it. 
Uh, I know I have these two Protomelis uh, blue golds, but I just can't, I just don't have the heart to get rid of one. I just have one and I have another one. If something happens to one, I have the back of them. I, I just like having them. I know that's an extra fish. I can get a different fish to be in here for them, but I just like them that much. Yeah, but that's pretty much what's going on in this tank. Um, once uh, I have another uh, shipment coming in from Days Rare Fish, uh, a couple of protomelis that I've been really, really uh, wanting, and he had them, so I ordered them. And uh, plus a Walter Ride, which also I've been on the fence about, but um, you know, they're pretty hard to get, and I want one. So look forward to that. That should be actually after Christmas. So I probably won't be making that video till next year. Hopefully I, I can uh, dwindle down the inventory in this tank. Might get rid of this, well not rid of him, but just put him in his own separate tank in a different room and just kind of make it into like a somewhat a planted tank. That's what I'm thinking and just putting him in there and see how it goes. Um, I want to get a corner tank. I always wanted to see what a corner tank looks like. I want to get him in there and um, let him get reach his full potential. And um, hopefully, I'll separate this hurt tank. Um, let him color up. I'll introduce him back in here. But yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching my video. And uh, like, comment, or subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, appreciate you guys putting out your guys' video. I've been uh, watching. Sometimes I don't comment, but I do watch them. Um, yeah, so I'll be putting up another video hopefully in another week. I'm probably going to do a profile of my black orange dorsal, which is one of my favorite guys at the moment. So, thank you guys.